So earlier on today then we had our first proper gameplay reveal for Spider-Man. We have five minutes of gameplay that came from IGN and the footage was supplied by Crystal Dynamics. With that gameplay we get to see really everything in regards to how he works. We don't see tool tips or anything like that, but we really do see an entire look at his kit. So I'm going to break it all down in this video. Now, one thing I'll mention before we get in and we do start breaking it down. I've seen a lot of comments already from people concerned that the gameplay does look pretty janky and it does now in the defense of crystal dynamics because despite what you might hear on twitter i'm actually a fair guy so in their defense i'll say it looks like this as low level footage so if you're a big spider-man fan don't be worried too much if it does look a little bit janky most heroes are janky at that stage so fingers crossed as he actually levels up he will get a bit more fluid in how he actually plays. But let me quickly cover what we've actually got to run over here, because as mentioned, it's near enough his entire kit. So we're going to look at the Traverso first. We're then going to check out his Intrinsic. We've then got a new status effect for Spider-Man. We'll have a look at that. We're going to check out his ranged abilities that will be available, and then we're going to have a look at his Support, Assault, and Ultimate Heroic. We've got a few takedowns to look at, and then finishing up, I'll have my general comments on his combat over Overall. So let's jump in, we'll start off with the Traverso first. So when it comes to nailing the feel of Spider-Man, I think possibly the most important element has to be the Traverso. It's all about swinging about. Now, one of the huge concerns that everyone had was whether or not he would be able to cloud swing, as you actually call it. He can do this in the Lego games where essentially he can swing from anywhere. If you can't do that, it makes your game more realistic, but it means when you're doing the Snowy Tundra Vault at a level such as that, it's not built for Spider-Man swinging about. It means you would have to run about everywhere. So, in my mind, they've went the right decision. They've went for the cloud swinging, so you can actually swing from anywhere, basically. It doesn't matter, so that's absolutely awesome. I will mention that IGN did say the swinging was really quite janky, and they actually said it's questionable if it's actually an upgrade over how he feels on Spider-Man on the PS2. I'm Hoping that's hyperbole because it doesn't sound good, but I'm most definitely happy they went for the cloud swinging route. So we have his intrinsic up next. We can see this is called Spider Sense and it adds the armoured effect, but from the footage we've got, it's not explicitly clear how this actually works, and IGN didn't break it down either. You can see he's got the, the Spider Sense icon above his head a fair amount of the time in this gameplay. The way I'm thinking it may actually work, and this would make sense if it was something along the lines of like what Miss Marvel's got, where you can actually hold down your trigger button, and then if it's a light attack, you automatically dodge it as long as you've got intrinsic energy for me that would actually work perfect but once again not explicitly clear how it actually will work from this footage if you've got an idea do let me know in the comments below so we now actually have a new status effect for Spider-Man, which is web, and you can see the bar for it filled up there from the colouring of it. I imagine it will be a cold status effect, so you'll go for your warm if you're looking for your battery there. With this as well, I'll actually mention the fact that the way it looks to work from the footage we have is you'll fill up the bar, and then it'll put the enemy into a status where they're actually stunned, and then when they're stunned, they'll get the webbing animation all over them, and it allows you to do a takedown. So this is really exactly how it expected it to work and exactly how I was hoping it would work as well. We then have a look at his ranged attacks and sweet baby Jesus, what the hell is going on with these animations here? Someone on my Discord actually posted this and I now can't get it out of my head. Anyway, I started blasting. Bah, bah. Well, I don't see so good so I missed. So the funny thing about this is I think everyone was actually really worried about how his traversal would be. I don't think any has actually really had any concerns about his ranged combat. But yeah, this most definitely does look janky. I'm hoping the fact that you can see at the top he's got three different ranged abilities. In a second I'll talk about them a bit more. But I'm hoping that the animation will potentially change depending on which one of these you're actually using. Because when you see Spider-Man and he fires out his webbing in the movies and so on, this is genuinely how he actually does it as opposed to having his arms down low it just doesn't look good it looks really clunky and yeah not a fan of it at all but let's now actually break down the different ranged abilities he's got so this section here is another one a bit like that intrinsic in that we see details of it but it's hard to know exactly how it's going to actually play out so you can see he's got three different web abilities here the one that we've seen a moment ago with the really weird animation is called web blast so 
what that does, what makes it different from the other ones, I'm not quite sure. The middle one, potentially that will be an AoE, a weapon that maybe splits or it maybe fires it in a cone even, that would make sense actually, it could be like a, a wave of arrows still move but with weapon instead and then you've got one here that could be a bit like the, the tripwire potentially on Hawkeye I'm guessing from the, the look of it but once again let me know what you think in the, the comments below how these three different types of ranged abilities will actually play out. So we move on to the heroics next, we've actually got the full names of all these as well. So this first one we're looking at here is called Spider Drone, it's an AI companion that fires weapon, so that will be your, your cold status effect, or I'm presuming it's cold, that it will actually fire out there. It says in the IGN video as well, you can set it in different modes, you can set it in a follow mode, or you can set it on a patrol mode, so that sounds pretty amazing for the levels where you've got the three different objectives and if you're playing solo and you need to run between them to be able to set your AI drone to actually patrol a particular section and take out enemies that sounds awesome, I really like the sounds of that we then have the Assault Heroic, which is Web Bomb, so we can see some footage of this one here. With this particular one, it's an AoE attack, and you can see that it looks like it actually applies the full Web and Status effect. Here we go, here we go there. You can see that enemy getting the full bar on them, and them getting stunned as a result of it as well. So, a pretty basic one, but once again, look at the health bar at the top. This looks to be a low-level Spider-Man, so fingers crossed we can actually mix it up a little bit. Maybe you'll get a variant where you can fire them all round them or something along the lines of that. Once again, fingers crossed. Next up here then we have the Ultimate Heroic. This one is called Wrecking Ball. You've seen iterations of this in, in various different media when it comes to Spider-Man. You'll notice on the left hand side actually after he casts it, it looks to be a steroid move as well. You're getting a damage buff when you actually use this. Like the previous move, because this looks to be low level, I'm hoping that when you upgrade it, he could have it where he could swing it round like a spin to win style build. That would be absolutely awesome, I'd really like if he could do that, so yeah, I'm crossing my fingers a lot actually <laughs> in regards to the gameplay footage we're seeing here that once he levels up, you, you get a bit more variety in regards to his kit. We then have some takedowns here, there's not a great deal you can say about takedowns, so I'll just actually let these play out here. So that is everything I was able to get from the IGN gameplay video and as mentioned it's the majority of his combat we've actually seen now so I'll have some general combat gameplay play in the background here while I give my overall thoughts. So melee combat looks to be really good, I like the, the takedowns associated with it as well, they feel very Spider-Man like. Range looks janky as hell, fingers crossed when you switch between the different ranged abilities that will actually change and we'll have one where he lifts arms up and he rapid fires webs, if you can do that that's most likely the build I'll be going for. Traverso looks slightly clunky and IGN commented on that as well but I do feel they went with the best option of the cloud swinging over trying to be realistic so I'm overall happy with the Traverso. The new status effect, pretty basic but it's what I would expect for Spider-Man, he, he webs enemies up and then he can take them down, so I'm happy with that. The heroics are a little bit on the basic side, but Black Panther suffered a bit from this when we've seen his early gameplay footage, and then when you upgraded the heroics, you had options of bringing in the, the spectral Dora Milaje and so on, so again, fingers crossed with Spider-Man, once you actually upgrade these heroics, there'll be a bit more variety in how they actually work. But that is everything there, let me know what you think of this in the comments below and thanks for tuning in for this, stay safe and I'll see you all again soon.